Okay, uh, welcome back. Quick geometry. Uh, Brazil. Really? Brazil usually has problems that are not that easy, so... But this one just looks like it's, like, breakfast material. So we're gonna take a triangle. And, um... Okay... I'm just gonna do this. So... Triangle center ADC 1 is the in center. We're gonna take the arc midpoint. Uh, to get the point K. Circle ABC is we're gonna circle. P is the midpoint of BC. Can you live check P sets? I think there's some privacy concerns if I do that, sorry. Um, K is the reflection. What is this stupid K thing? Or Q. Q is the reflection of K with respect to A. I mean, I can... Oops, that's, that's the wrong way. Uh, 2 times A minus K. I mean, I, I guess that's a thing you can do. I'm gonna mark the other arc midpoints, if only because that'll make it easier to construct the X-Hunters. Okay, so I, B is 2 times M, B minus I. Um, I, C is 2 times M, C minus I. Except I'm being a noose, I'm being bad, and I'm not being consistent with the names, so we're gonna make the names correct. Okay, so what the heck is this? I want those concyclic, really? Is it concyclic? This feels like the kind of thing, like, if this is true, I should have seen it before, but I don't recognize it. Um, all I can say is that... There's an ortho center, isn't there? Um, we're gonna add an IA just to complete this stupid picture. Um, it feels a little remiss to not add it. Because what ha what's gonna happen is that um, this... I, I, be, I see it will be like the base triangle in some sense. So this reflection thing makes me wonder if like... So A is the foot of the altitude. So what this is really saying is that if I take the ortho center of like some triangle, it should be some nice thing. Um, Q... What was I trying to do? I was trying to extend the segment. Um. Okay, let's color these blue. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna name the ortho center in question. So let's we're gonna define. Um, heck, I'll even call it H. We're gonna let H be the ortho center of K I B I C. At that point, right there. And first, the first thing is that I it lies on B C apparently. So let me see why this is true. Um, Wait, why is that true? Really? That's true? So in a triangle, if I take... Okay, I, sh I should know this. What? 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 So A-H-I-I-A is a harmonic bundle. So... What is with the point K? That's the one I don't like. 
is this a bro card thing? It's bro card, right? Okay, by bro card, yeah. Okay, by bro card's theorem on the cyclic quadrilateral I C I A B, uh, the ortho center of H, the ortho center of K. I, B, I, C coincides exactly with B, C intersecting I, A. So this is the other center. And then I want to show this, this, this are concyclic, um, which follows from more projective crap, probably. Um, Wait, is this really? That's just true. I feel like if this was true, someone was supposed to tell me about it a while ago. Um. Let me let me write what I have so far. Um, so we're gonna let I A be the AX center and let H equals A I K intersect B C then my Brocard's theorem on cyclic quadrilateral uh, B I C I A follows that H K is the orthos um, Triangle IB, I see H is self polar meaning K is its orthocenter. Meaning in particular K is its orthocenter. Is the ortho center so equivalently H is the ortho center of triangle IB H I I B K I C I claim that now I claim next I claim that I B I C P H is cyclic um is there I really should know how to do this. Or like, uh, have I not seen this before? Is because this is such a common configuration. Like it's like you have a complete quad in a circle with some diameter, and you want to say the midpoint is on that circle. I mean, I could. Okay, I'll, I'll introduce the intersection. Okay, we're gonna let. Um, we're gonna do the standard power point thing where I let I B I C meet line B C at some point T. T I C is. This segment can go to T. Wait, where'd T go? No, where the point is? Yeah, there's T. Screw you. Um, and TB was M and TB. Yeah, let's use green, why not? Okay, so TIC times TIB was TB times TC. BHPC is... It's not harmonic. What? No. TBHC is harmonic because of the complete quadrilateral picture, all right? So I don't... This is even true without the... I've definitely seen this somewhere before. Somehow I just don't recognize it off my head. This is, this is definitely appeared somewhere. I don't know where. 
So we define t is equal to ibic. And THBC is harmonic. Indeed, TH times TP equals TB times TC equals TIB times TIC. Okay, and now we should just be done because this will tell us that um, the reflection of the orthocenter K of triangle IB. I see um, H is all, always over a side IBIC then coincides with Q which now lies on P H IBIC. The end. I think this is like about as American as Geo gets these days. Like modern modern Geo is not usually this American because it's too well studied. Oh well, one more for the collection. So first, let's move the labels so that they're not just in front of crap. Ah, MC is gonna be... Actually, we never used this point, right? I didn't actually use it. We can just hide it. Okay, that makes life easier. Um... So file, export, export to asymptote, generate code, cut, use the magic converter, and generate code that does not look terrible. Um, we're going to have to shrink this because 36 centimeters is way too big. that mean? Invalid slash zero? Oh wow, those labels really do not end up in the right places. Um, okay, we'll, we'll manually adjust those. What's like the midpoint of 90 and 180? 135? Actually, I like P a little closer. the AOPS thread from whence this problem came. I 
don't know if there's anything else I need to say about it. Feels very standard. If someone complex bashed this? Oh my god. Someone used your PC. Cool. Um, all right, yeah, that was quick. Okay, um...